Hey, 17 cooking. Um, so I got 40 fishing. I've been AFKing for the past couple hours at uh, Edgeville, just catching some uh, trout and salmon. I got a few, and I'm hoping that I don't burn all of them. As you can see, I clearly am, so I don't know if that's going to be very successful. But eventually I'll burn fewer, and I'll have at least some food that would be better than cakes for doing blackjacking, which will be really good. So um, that's what I'm working on right now, and after I finish cooking these, I'm going to do it. Do, go do some more blackjacking and actually get some decent money out of it and decent XP. So, uh, I didn't realize that I can't buy my items back from shops. <laughs> so, I guess I'll just have to, have to be taking carpet rides back and forth between uh, the Shanty Pass and Polynesia Bank for food. It's kind of, uh, I think that's kind of a flaw. I mean, I think they should code it so that you can buy back your own items from shops, because that's still how the game would be if there weren't any other players. I, th I think that's kind of an oversight in, on their part. Um, but yeah, that kind of sucks, so that's mean, that means that blackjacking is a bit slower. It's definitely still worth doing, but uh, kind of bummed about that. It's kind of annoying. Alright guys, so cash stack is looking amazing and I have even more money in the bank. As of now, my plan is actually to continue blackjack. I'm at 57 thieving right now, which means I can do the uh, non-bearded yeah, the non-bearded Polynesian bandits, which are 50 coins each pickpocket, and they're really fast XP. I think I'm somewhat close to top page. I'm definitely second page in thieving right now, and I'm going to keep going on thieving for quite a while, I think. I am definitely going to um, get f full rune, but what I want to show you guys right now, you can buy these jugs of wine right here, and these heal 11 HP each, which is amazing for blackjacking, especially for Iron Man accounts, because you don't have to go to the bank. So um, I don't have to worry about banking. I don't have to worry about using any food, because you can buy these... 1 GP each and you're set. I mean, they're not good for combat because my attack level is 3 out of 45 right now because they do reduce your attack, so you either just have to uh, wait for that to come back or just die or something if you want to reset that, but really, really good way to uh, keep your health up and everything. And I mean, 11 HP, they do last for quite a while. It's really good. Definitely, I mean, it's better healing than salmon and trout were and you have to spend the time to get those, but I am going to uh, head over to the Shandy Pass and see what my cash deck is looking like now, and um, I'll calculate how much it's going to cost to buy Full rune, I have to get the uh, the helmet, the plate body, and the legs, and then I'm going to buy a lot of uh, casts of I think fire strike probably, and then I'm going to go to fire giants and try and get myself a um, rune scimitar, and then from there I'm probably going to go and kill some chaos druids. Um, I don't really need full rune to kill chaos druids, but um, it'd be kind of nice I guess just to have full rune in general, so I'm definitely going to go for that. But yeah, I want to kill a lot of chaos druids for getting my combat up a bit and also getting a lot of herbs and um, just progressing my count a bit in that may it would be nice to have a bit higher uh, melee stats just so I don't get hit hard and stuff like that and I don't have as high a chance of dying in general uh, so I just got 65 thieving I didn't get the screenshot but um, I did get 65 um, which means I'm done doing bandits and I can actually do mana fights now which isn't a huge increase in GP per hour but it is a very big increase in XP per hour going from like 100-150k to 200k plus per hour which is really really good um, I haven't really decided I might do something else for a little while because I do have about 200k and actually about 210k right now I have about 80k in the bank right now so that's enough to work with but I, I do kind of want a bit more money so I probably will continue to do this until like 70-75 maybe even 80 thieving because that'll really get me a nice amount of cash I won't have enough money to buy rune to buy a dragon scimitar when I get the level for it, and um, eventually buy a, buy a dragon battle axe probably, and also buy a lot of runes for casting spells to try to get a rune scimitar on fire giants. So um, definitely going to be some more thieving happening, but I might do something else just for a bit now, just to take a break I guess. But I also want to get myself on the top page, so I might do a bit more thieving just to get myself there. Alright, so I managed to get myself 66 thieving, and I had about 240k cash stack, and I decided to go and buy some runes. And I'm now killing fire giants, and I'm just going to see how long it takes to get a rune scimitar. It could be quite a while, just depends on my luck really. But it does take kind of a long time to kill these, it will be a little bit better once I have higher magic. But it will give me a lot of magic levels, and hopefully a rune scimitar sometime soon. Which will be really useful to have, since I am 45 attack, I'd rather have a rune scimitar before I do any more... Um, training of my melee stats, but I would like to get my melees up a bit just to be able to do more quests and progress in the game more, so this is the first one that I've killed. It does take a fairly long time, about 30 casts it seemed like for that one, but they are pretty decent for um, drops and everything like that. I'm going to have to see if I can manage to pick up the bones and everything because, oh, yeah, he's going to get in a hit on me, isn't he? 
Yeah, I'll see if I can figure out a system for that because it is going to be very good to be able to pick out the bones since they are worth quite a lot. I don't know if I can actually get this one or if it's just going to run away. But yeah, I have to get used to killing fire giants, but this is going to be how I get my magic up quite a bit. Hopefully going to get actually 55, but I don't know if it'll actually take that long. But we'll see how well it actually goes. Alright guys, so I didn't actually manage to get many clips because I was just streaming, but um, I used up 3k casts here, did not get any uh, rune scimitar, so I bought another 3k cast. It costs about 35k, I believe. So, um, not cheap, but it's really not that difficult to make money now that I can blackjack with mana fights, so I'm not really worried about cash. Um, but I am at 47 magic now, which is pretty nice. It means I can use Camelot Teleport, and um, I can use Water Blast if I choose to do so, which I probably won't. Um, but also, I managed to get 24 crafting. Um, I just did some uh, Entrana crafting, which isn't super efficient. I should have probably just bought the stuff, but I decided to just do that. It didn't take very long, but I made myself an Emulet of Magic, which means that I have slightly higher magic offense. I think it's plus 10. Um, magic offense, which is really nice, so makes it a little bit more accurate and a little bit more efficient for killing these. Another thing I kind of wish I had done was get a wizard robe top, but I would have to kill a lot of wizards, and they actually have very high DPS if you don't have good um, anti-magic gear, so I would probably end up using a lot of food there, and the drop isn't actually extremely common, so I don't really know if it would be worth the time, but yeah, still working on the rune scimitar, hopefully I'll get one soon. Alright, here's 40 defense, I decided to train on defensive until I got 40, just because I wanted to get 40. And have that out of the way so I can buy rune and wear it. But yeah, I just trained an offensive from 39 to 40 since I was sitting at 39. Still at 49 uh, magic, but be, that'll be 50 pretty soon. And nearly 600 total as well, which is pretty sweet. Still no rune scimitar though, um, almost halfway through these runes. Alright guys, here's level 55 magic, which means that I can now cast high level alchemy. And um, I was saying that I probably would stop killing these if I didn't have a rune scimitar by the time I get 55 magic, but. It feels like I've been here to get a rune scimitar, and it's driving me crazy that I haven't gotten one yet, and I don't like giving up on my goals. So I think I'm just going to stay here for a while longer and really hope that I get a rune scimitar. It's not really efficient per se, which is something that I uh, tend to uh, go for as efficiency, but it's really just annoying me that I haven't gotten one yet. And this is one of the reasons I hate RNG, is because you just, you never know. You can sit here, and I've killed these for many hours, and just keep killing them, keep killing them. And you're not any closer to getting a rune scimitar than you were the first time that I killed one. That's what I. That's why I don't like PVM and stuff as much, and RNG and waiting for a specific drop and everything like that. It's like with skilling, you do something for an hour, you have uh, the same output as if you do something in an hour at a different time. Kill these for ten hours, you have no better chance of getting a rune scimitar than if you kill one. Um, it's just annoying. <laughs> I hate that. Um, but yeah, I want a rune scimitar, and I would hate doing combat without one. So I'm just gonna keep killing these because. That's how I want to play the game, so um, feel free to judge me and tell me that I'm inefficient, but fuck it. This is annoying me, so I'm just going to keep killing these, and eventually I should get a rune scimitar, hopefully someday. Yeah, I've used like almost 8,000 casts of Fire Strike, and most people say they got one between one and 3,000 casts, so yeah. Kind of getting trolled here. I've killed probably like 250 or so to, yeah, around there. Um, still no rune scimitar, so... Uh, hopefully sometime soon, hopefully today, I'll manage to get one. But I guess we'll just have to find out. Alright, so I just finished my third trip at Fire Giants. 3,000 casts per trip, and uh, so I've used 9,000 casts of Fire Strike. And I still haven't gotten a Rune Scimitar. I'm at 56 magic now. I've done it since 33 magic, and I still don't have a Rune Scimitar, which is awesome. I've spent like 100k on Fire Strike. So I'm going to spend another 35k, which is going to be great. Uh, each 3,000 cast is around 35k. I mean, I'm not really that worried about the money because um, money is easy to make with blackjacking, but it's still annoying because, I mean, so many people, they get their rune scimitar in like a thousand casts or something, and I'm just getting so unlucky, so this really sucks, but I'm hoping I'll get it soon. That's all I can really do because I'm no closer to the rune scimitar than it... What just happened? Okay. I'm no closer to the rune scimitar than I was forever ago when I started doing this. Oh. Oh my god. Killed. I've used over 10,000 casts of Fire Strike. I finally got a Rune Scimitar. I'm 57 magic right now. From 33 to 57. Nearly 11,000 casts. I finally got one. Alright, so I am going to buy rune plate legs because um, you can't really get them anywhere else but the shop. And I'm pretty much going to be using rune plate legs for quite a long time until I can get either dragon 
plate legs, which is pretty unlikely, or um, any kind of Barrows legs, which is obviously going to take even longer. So rune plate legs are definitely worth getting. I don't know if I'm going to bother buying a rune plate body or full helm because um, I'll be getting a torso at some point, and I'll be getting a berserker helm at some point, most likely, and then a Nezzy later on. So I don't know if it's worth the money right now. I might get a full helm um, if I can actually buy one. I don't actually know if I can. Um, does he sell them? No, I don't. Uh, so I'll have to see if I can actually buy one or not. I may be able to, but um, I probably won't buy a plate body just because they're very expensive, and I could easily get by with a, like an Addy plate body or something like that. I mean, um, I don't think it's really worth spending the money at this point, but now that I have a rune scimitar, I'm going to go kill some chaos druids and get some herbs and get some combat XP and try to get my herb lore level up. Um, and I can finally move on, and uh, I'll be training my attack to 50, then I'll train strength to 50. I'll probably leave my defense at 40 for a while, just because I don't really need it that much for Chaos Druids, but I will be leveling that up soon, too. Um, but yeah, I want to get my combat levels up and work on training some herb lore. Um, I probably will do the dig site, dig site quest pretty soon, because that gives some nice herb lore experience. Um, and also gives a lot of uh, mining XP, and that's really the last quest left that I kind of want to do. And... Um, I probably will do some agility soon as well because agility is something that's very useful and I probably should do that ASAP just so I can have more run restoration and stuff like that. Alright guys, so I've done two or three trips of uh, Chaos Druids and haven't gotten a ton. I mean, they're not really amazing for herbs, that's the thing, so um, I've gotten a decent amount of herbs but I do still need to do um, Dig Site and also I want to do the Eyes of Gluffery soon because that's the quest that gives you some nice runecrafting experience. But I do need five construction so I think I'm actually going to do that now. Um, I'm going to go make some uh, planks and get myself to 5 construction. I'll figure out how many I actually need. I think regular planks are like 30 experience each or something like that, so it shouldn't be too many at all. Um, but I am going to do that, and then I can do that quest. And then after that, I think I might actually start doing some runecrafting. I was thinking of waiting on runecrafting until I could um, have potions and stuff like that, but I mean, getting energy potions is going to be a lot of time, and I don't really know if it's worth it. I mean, it'd be nice to just do some lower level runecrafting, make some more runes. And I do want to try to get 66 magic pretty soon, because then I can get into the Wizard's Guild. And then I can mine essence a bit more efficiently than when you're mining it at a Varrock, just because it's a bit closer to the bank. Um, and also, I want to get my rune crafting up because at 25 you get the medium pouch, which is good for both rune crafting and for mining essence. And then 50 you get the large pouch and everything like that. So I am actually really wanting to rune craft. I think it would just be cool to have decent rune crafting on this account and everything. Um, so I think I'm probably going to be getting into that a bit more. Oh yes, the startup house. It's so homey. So. I'm building mode. I'm hoping that this inventory of planks will be enough. I just went to uh, the sawmill, cut logs around there, and made them to planks. So we'll see if this is enough to get me to five construction. Because five is all I need. It will get me like maybe a one or two levels from doing the uh, quest. Gets you like 250 construction XP. I kind of wish it was more than that, but oh well. But yeah, it does get 6,000 rune crafting XP, which is a lot of XP, especially at this level. Get me to uh, 23 or 24, which will be really good. Yep, there we go, 5 construction. I think I'll just use up the rest of these planks, there's not really any reason not to. Um, but it might give me like 6 or 7 actually. But yeah, it's nice to have that not at 1 anymore. I only have 3 skills still left at 1. Fletching, ranged, and farming. Farming, I'll probably do some Sorceress' Garden fairly soon, get that up. Or I might do a uh, Fairy Tale Part 1. Um, but I will need to do a bit more crafting and a bit more wood cutting in order to get the levels to be able to do uh, Lost City. Um, which is something I'll work on. Fletching is just annoying and so is range. I don't really know what the best way is to train them from the start. I think for range I could do um, Shadow of the Storm and use 10k XP on that and that would be a good way to do that so that's probably what I'll end up doing. Fletching you really just have to uh, cut the logs and make the stupid arrow shafts and shit and whatever you can make because I don't think there are really any good quests for fletching XP unfortunately. Alright, so of course I didn't realize um, you need a maple log to do this quest, and that means I need 45 wood cutting. And I only have a steel axe, and the only way for me to get better axes is first to do Lost City, uh, which means I need at least 36 wood cutting, I believe, yeah. And then crafting and stuff, and then I have to uh, get fairy rings, because I can fairy ring code into the place. So I'm going to have to put that on hold for a bit. I think what I'm going to do now is actually do a bit of Sorceress's Garden because that's a good way to get herbs, and um, it's probably a better way to get herbs than killing Chaos Druids, to be honest, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep doing those. It was kind of boring anyways. I don't know, they're just... Yeah, I wasn't really a fan of killing Chaos Druids that much, um, so I'll just find something else to kill to train my melees, uh, most likely. I might still kill them if I feel up to it, I guess, but I um, wasn't really a huge fan of it. 
but um, Sorceress's Garden is a really good way to get farming XP, so that will be really nice, and it's also a good way to get herbs, so I'm going to see how that works out for me. Um, get me a few total levels. Alright, I decided actually to do the Digzite quest because it's something I just need to get done. Um, gets you a lot of mining XP, as you can see, 35 mining and 18 herb lore also, which is really good, and it gets me two gold bars, which is actually really useful for making a couple pieces of jewelry. Um, so there we go. I'm probably going to mine some, uh, oh, I can mine sandstone, that's kind of cool. Probably going to go mine some rune essence, um, AFK that while I do some more homework, but having the herb lore level is really good too, and I probably will do, um, jungle potion fairly soon. I think that might actually get me to level 20 herb lore, and then I can identify Herolanders, which will be really good. 26 is when I can start making energy potions, which will be when herb lore actually becomes really useful. Um, but yeah, I think I'm probably going to mine some essence. I am going to be doing a lot of rune crafting in the future, so I might as well mine some essence while I'm AFKing and uh, get some of that out of the way since there's going to be millions of essence that I have to mine if I ever want to get 99 room crafting. <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm purchasing some soda ash, buckets of sand, and um, seaweed from the, ch the charter crew members. And unfortunately this, the shops are basically always out of stock in every single world. And the only reason this is even somewhat bearable is because of Orion Quick Hop, because without that this would just suck completely. But I'm working on getting the supplies I need to get 31 crafting so I can do Lost City, so I can uh, get access to fairy rings, so then I can um, kill some of those things that drop hatchets, so then I can do some wood cutting, so I can get a maple log, so that I can do the eyes of Gluffery. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, half the world's have either zero or like one of these items in stock. It's, it sucks really bad. You're lucky to find this many, even. Um, I would really be a proponent for um, Jagus implementing uh, instant shops, especially for Iron Man accounts, if not only for Iron Man accounts, because. Iron Man accounts are supposed to not be affected by other players, either positively or neg positively, yeah, positively or negatively. So, um, I think that they shouldn't be able to be affected by other players at all if they can do that to the best of their ability, um, which would include shops, because it is really annoying. So, um, I would appreciate that. But I know, I, don't, I know a lot of other people would too, but just to see if that's really a possibility and if they're willing to do that. There's level 31 crafting, which means I can actually start doing the Lost City quest, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get that done, and I'm going to start Fairy Tale Part 1 until to the point I can uh, use Fairy Rings. And then I'm going to kill some uh, Tree Spirits and try to get myself some Hatchets. So then I can do Wood Cutting, so then I can get Maple Logs. And there it is done. Took me like 15 minutes. That's a lot easier quest than I even remembered, but yeah, basically all you do is just talk to the people, get the German stuff, and then come here and you're done. So all I need to do is do like a couple minutes of uh, Fairy Tale Part 1, and then I can get access to Fairy Rings. And I believe that I just have to do Part 1, and I can get it to the uh, location where you can kill... Um, tree spirits, I'm really hoping so because I don't feel like doing all those quests, but yeah. I know a lot of other people have been killing those, so I don't think I need to do too much to get to them. Alright, of course it wasn't that simple. I had to do uh, Priest in Peril, and now I have to do Nature Spirit before I can even start Fairy Tale Part 1. So I just finished Priest in Peril, which did get me. Uh, oh, it didn't even get me a prayer level. Well, that's sad. I thought it would. Oh well, so now I have to do Nature Spirit, which means I need to go grab some uh, silver and stuff, make a uh, sickle, all that fun stuff, and then do that quest and then I can actually get fairy rings and then I can go kill ants or no not not ants tree spirit and there's that quest done didn't take too long either um, probably around half an hour to 45 minutes um, but they get me 32 crafting which is kinda nice so now I can finally actually start um, fairy tale part one which means I can get fairy rings alright so you guys are probably all thinking I'm an idiot yes I am I forgot that I need to uh, complete fairy tale part one and start fairy tale part two <laughs> So these are my three items that I just got. Fat snail, red spider's egg, and slimy eel. All these uh, should be able to get pretty easily. Red spider's egg you can just pick up. Slimy eel, you only need like 20-something fishing. Fat snail, I just need to kill one of the snails in the uh, Mortmire Swamp. So that's not too bad. So I can actually get these. Thank God it wasn't like a diamond or some like a snapdragon or something like that. So it shouldn't take too long to get. I'll finish up this quest and then uh, start Fairy Tale Part 2. And then I can kill Tree Spirits. Alright, that quest is done. Once again, not extremely difficult. Um, but now I can start Fairytale Part 2. And it did get me an attack, level 48 attack, and 17 farming, which is nice. That's always good. It skips the uh, level of farming. It can go right to trees, even though I don't have any, actually have any seeds. But um, a lot of my farming XP will probably come from doing some uh, Sorceress' Garden pretty soon. I was going to do that last night, and then I realized I had to do Prince Ali Rescue, and I was like, uh, I don't really feel like doing that. So <laughs> I haven't done that one yet, but I will soon. Look where I am, <laughs> finally! <laughs> didn't take too long to get to access to fairy rings. 
I still have 1.3k casts of uh, Fire Strike left, so I'll see if I can get an axe in that time. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I don't because my RNG hasn't been too great. I've got lucky with the uh, Fairy Tale Part 1 quest at least, and you get anything really horrible that I had to collect, but we'll see how this goes. It would be nice if I get an Addy Axe too, since I'm going to need that for a couple levels. Um, maybe if I get a Myth and a Rune, I'll definitely just use the Myth, I don't really care, but yeah, I definitely need a Rune Axe ASAP um, so I can get my wood cutting up higher because um, it sucks training with a Steel Axe. The past four kills, I've gotten four Mithril Axes. I Alright, I'm just going to kind of assume that this is normal to have 8 mithril axes in my inventory after like 15 minutes. Oh my god, guys. 9 mithril axes and I got an addy axe. I was like, alright, cool. Addy axe, that's nice. Next kill, rune axe. Done. It was like 600 casts. That's insane. <laughs> it totally makes up for the fire giants. I'm so happy about that one. So I can go back to woodcutting, get myself that 45, and then I can do eyes of gluffery, which will get me some rune crafting XP. It's looking good. It's looking good. All right, there's level 45 wood cutting. Didn't take too long, so that means I can cut maple trees now, which means that I can actually do the Eyes of Gluff request finally. I do need to get myself a mud rune, but I believe I can do a small amount of um, the Mage Training Arena, and I can get just a few pizzazz points, and then I can get myself a mud rune from there. The only other way I'd be able to get it is if I had 13 rune crafting and I'd be able to craft one, but that would be really annoying. I'd have to get a talisman and all that stuff, so. I think it'll be a lot easier to just try to get one through the mage training arena since you can buy them with the pizzazz points. Alright, so if any of you guys are wondering how to get a mud rune, uh, I'm on an Iron Man without 13 rune crafting. This is how. It takes a few minutes, just you get one point in each of them, then 15 in the uh, in enchantment, which is very easy to get, and you get yourself a mud rune. So there we go. I'm good for the uh, the Eyes of Gluff request, and I'm actually going to go do that, get myself to, uh, I believe it will be 23 rune crafting that I can get from that. Alright, there's that quest completed. It's kind of annoying the puzzle, but it's not too bad, and other than that, that's basically the entire quest. Um, and the, obviously the main draw to this is, gets me from level 9 to level 23 runecrafting, and I'm very close to 24. So I may actually start runecrafting somewhat soon. I need to get my agility level up a bit, and I may actually just end up getting it to uh, whatever level I need for full graceful, because that would be really useful. But I do kind of want to get some runecrafting done, it did also get me a couple of uh, construction levels, which is always nice. 12k magic XP is really nice too, but that didn't actually get me a level, but it got me pretty close. And I guess you a bit of wood can experience too, but definitely worth doing that quest. Um, saves you a lot of the low level rune crafting. Um, if I can, if I uh, want to do lava runes, I can, even though I definitely can't actually get the <laughs> supplies and stuff that I would need to actually make lava runes. All right, guys. So I'm doing a bit of agility right now. I did the Varrock course until 40, and now I'm at the Canifus course. And I actually like this course a lot because I don't run out of run energy, which I'm surprised by because mo it seems like most courses at lower levels you do end up running out of run energy and you need energy potions to. Uh, keep yourself running, but with this one you really don't, which is, I, it's just really nice. I don't know if it's that way again until level 80, really, because I've heard, I think I've heard that other levels you do need energy potions, but I'm not positive on that one, but anyways, yeah, I, I do like this course a lot, but I'm probably going to find something to AFK. I'm thinking of trying to just find something worth killing with Fire Strike to get myself to 66 magic gradually, because I can't really think of a good way to do 66 magic. If any of you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below, but I really need 66 magic for the wizard's guild so I can mine rune essence there since it's a lot more efficient to mine it there than it is to mine in Varrock or anywhere else. Um, so I need to get that right away basically if I want to do rune crafting. Obviously I need decent agility for rune crafting too so that's why I'm doing this right now but I need something worth AFKing while I'm doing quarrying on my main um, because I'm getting kind of tired of mother load and I would rather be doing some quarrying and it's really hard to do quarry while I'm doing anything that isn't like super AFK which luckily casting fire strike very much is. So, um, just need to think of a monster worth killing. I'm not really sure exactly what it'll kill, but I'll probably figure out something. Um, but anyways, I think that's going to be about it for this video, guys. It's gone on quite long, so I apologize for that. Generally, these videos will be out on Wednesdays and possibly on Saturdays if I have a lot of clips and I can fit in a second one in a week. Um, but generally, I think Wednesdays will be the day. It just makes the most sense, especially since now I have a ton of clips and I don't really f think I should wait until Saturday. Um... But I appreciate the feedback on the last one with people telling me what day they'd prefer and everything. It was between Wednesday and Saturday, and I think Wednesday works best, at least for now. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, generally probably will be Wednesdays. Um, and yeah, I guess that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. Um, and if you didn't enjoy it, then feel free to leave a dislike and tell me why in the comments below. Anything else you want to say, feel free to tell me in the comments. Also, my friend's chat is open, DIY Aubrey. That's where I'll be hanging out in on this account, so feel free to join that French chat and uh, ask me any questions you might have. And it is an actual clan called DIY Clan, 
Um, so if you want to join, there's an application on the forums. So we'll link that below in the description. That's going to be about it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in the video. Later, guys.